What do you call a tall kettle on the stove? A hypotenuse. Get it? A hot pot in use? Hypotenuse. So anyways, we're going to be talking about classifying triangles by angles and sides, and in particular, the triangle inequality theorem. So what is the triangle inequality theorem? The best way to think about it is to think about walking. So if you walk from point Q, 2R to S. So you see these three points make a triangle. How long is the path? Well, it would be the length A plus the length B. Now if you walk directly from Q to S in a straight line, how long is that path? Well, that length would be C. Well, given the choice, which path would you walk and why? Well, I like, I like to compare this to finishing up practice at after football or something and you always seem to be on the wrong side of the field across from your water bottle. You go straight to the water bottle given the opportunity instead of going down the side of the field and across the field. The reason you choose that path is because it's shorter, which means that C cannot be as much as A and B and that leads us to this inequality. C is less than A plus B. Even if B were just a little bit, you know, say a few feet, you're still going to go directly given the option instead of going a few feet out of your way. So that's where this inequality comes from. And it leads us to the triangle inequality theorem. If a triangle has three sides, A, B, and C, then the third side must always be less than the sum of the other two sides. It doesn't matter which side you pick. Most of the times we're going to be looking at C being the longest side because that's the trickiest um, application where it's most stringent. The contrapositive is also true. Remember you make contrapositive by switching the uh, conditional and putting a not in. So if C is not less than A plus B, in other words if C is greater than or equal to A plus B, then it doesn't really have three sides, A, B, and C. It is not a triangle. So we can use this to test to see if three sides can make a triangle. First of all, we're going to label A and B as the two shorter sides. We're going to label the longest side as C. And we're going to substitute into the inequality that the two short sides must be greater than the longest side. If the inequality is true, then the sides can make a triangle. So we're going to determine in this example if the sides can make a triangle. I've got 4, 7, and 10. So C would be 10. That's the longest side. 4 plus 7 should be greater than 10. 11 is greater than 10, which is true. So I can make a triangle with sides 4, 7, and 10. Now for the next example, 9, 6, and 3, 9 is actually the longest side. So I'm going to do 6 plus 3, or 3 plus 6 must be greater than 9. Is 9 greater than 9? That's actually false. So I cannot make a triangle. Then I have 7x plus 3x and well I have 7x, 3x, 2x. Again I have the longest side listed first. So I'm going to say 2x plus 3x is greater than 7x. Now you're probably thinking well there's x so I can't figure out which one is longer. Well if we're doing lengths then x better be a positive number. Could be a fraction, but it definitely positive. Could be a decimal, could even be irrational, but it's positive. So I'm going to add those two and I'm going to say 5x is greater than 7x. Well, if x is positive, that's not possible. That's false. And so I can't make a triangle with this set of sides. So for further reflection on this part of your notes, why must the sum of two sides of a triangle always be larger than the third side? And why does the triangle inequality theorem work no matter which two sides you pick for A and B?